Uh, well, good morning to all you beautiful people around the world. It's Monday. You know what that means. Welcome along to episode Not number 39 of our... Oh, God almighty. Thanks for having Episode number 39 of telling our marketing department to shut the f*** up. <laughs> or it's the Hungarian Grand Prix. One of the two. I don't know which one. It's one of the two. Let's have a look at the facilities, shall we? You can see there, we want to, we want to buy something. We bought a fitness centre for Guan Yu. But we want to buy something, but we just can't. We could buy a fabrication upgrade. Or this build time upgrade. Ooh, build time upgrade. Yeah, go on him. Build time upgrade. And now we don't have enough cash for Guan Yu. So we've got to sort uh, that out, aren't we? As you do, as you do, here's how it is looking. Hopefully we get all of this in before the uh, Hungarian Grand Prix. I hope so, because we desperately need it. Get some uh, stuff coming. So that's look at the championship. And Carlos Sainz, he leads the way by about 65 points from Matthew Stafford, Lando Norris, Fernando Alonso, Sergio Perez, Jackie in P6, then Daniel Ricciardo, Lewis Hamilton, George Russell, and Hollywood Land Stroll in P10. I think the worry thing is Yuri has nine points. Let's have a look at how Guan Yu's doing. Oh, one point. Hey, one point for Guan Yu for being Guan Yu. As you do, right. Let's go. Give us stuff. Yeah, let's have a celebration party. I know we were expecting some new developments. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, okay. We, gi we give you a celebration for the podium and uh, you go fuck up all our stuff and then you hit me with this article about who's my rival George Russell or Lewis Hamilton get fucked get fucking fucked oh wow we have some power upgrades from Ferrari yeah you can see Ferrari are treated as like absolute garbage that's uh, how it should be let's uh, see if we can get these in before the Hungarian Grand Prix or not uh, yes at least we can get that that's a, what all we can get, probably. Um, 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 uh, so this game frustrates me a lot sometimes. <sighs> you watch other people, right? You watch other people and they get all their stuff come in. And then you do it and you get absolutely shafted by your department. Uh, see, look, that's abs that is literally everything failed. Literally everything. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through. Yeah, I know I was expecting some uh, new parts to, we'll to come in there, sir. How about you fucking give me them parts for once in your fucking life? Jesus fucking H. Bastard fucking. <laughs> yes, there was a lot of uh, Fs in there, wasn't there? Oh, and now I've got to wait till the Belgian Grand Prix to get it all in. <laughs> You're not funny. Oh, let me let me get this now! Yay, yay! Energy store reliability testing. Woo! Can can you all tell the uh, frustration in my voice right about now? I hope you can, and then I hope uh, you'll all tell my uh, team how you exactly how you think about them. Anyway, we'll go get practiced and we'll go get qualified and we'll see if on the start line where I think we're gonna probably start last because it's hungry, and everyone hates hungry. It's race day in Budapest as we get ready for another round of Formula One action. We're not expecting too many retirements at this circuit. There are plenty of current and former drivers with flawless finish rates here. In particular, Ralph Schumacher, who made it across the line in all 10 of his Hungarian Grand Prix starts. The Hungaro ring, it's like Monaco without the boats. Although the boats today could come in very handy. 14 corners, six to the left and eight to the right, and some very tricky corners to deal with. These rainy conditions out there aren't gonna help either. So it's very likely we'll see a safety car or two during today's race. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position. And P2 goes to Daniel Ricciardo, a strong showing from the Australian. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Fernando Alonso, Russell, and Sir Lewis Hamilton, and Verstappen, Perez, Leclerc, Albon, and Esteban Ocon, Norris, They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Magnussen, Lance Stroll, and Mick Schumacher. Gasly, Oscar Piastri, Yuki Tsunoda, and Robert Schwartzman. Joe, 
Yuri Vips, Latifi and the governess. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. And a warm welcome to Natalie Pinkham, who's beside me in the commentary box today. Let's have a chat about McLaren. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within the team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that has definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. After the points finished last race, let's aim to keep that momentum going. Yeah, yeah, like like I uh, like I told you, chat, it's hungry. Uh, we qualified last, so uh, we took fresh uh, engine components. Why not? You'd uh, you'd all do the same. I know where uh, you would. There's how uh, it all uh, works out for us. Hopefully, we're not going to stop today, but it may dry up uh, towards the end. We'll see. But if it does, that's going to play right into their hands. And uh, we all know that that's going to play right into their hands, isn't it? Let's try and get a great start and uh, try and pick up a point. Yeah, perfect. I am all ready to go. Let's go. Let's go and let's get this Grand Prix off and underway, shall we? Well, let's go. Let's go get the formation lap okay, uh, going first. So yeah, as you can uh, as you can see, we took uh, all brand new uh, components. We decided while well, we're going to be back here, we may as well be back here for a reason, not a uh, stupid reason. And hopefully, this Hungarian Grand Prix doesn't turn out to be as boring as I think it's going to be. Because there is there is a chance it could um, it could be boring. Not uh, not too boring, but uh, boring enough for you all on uh, your Monday. How are you all on this uh, lovely Monday morning? Hope uh, hope you're all well. Uh, hope you're all having uh, a fantastic day. I uh, I myself am having a I'm having a good day day at the moment. But okay, it's only uh, it's only half past eight in the morning. <laughs> only he says. Uh, and I mean that he say, he say he's, oh it's only uh, it's only half past eight. Uh, I've not actually not got up and I feel more awake than I do uh, regularly and I've, I've had a really good night's sleep for once. Which is strange for me because normally I'm having uh, a bit of a rough night. But we'll uh, we'll see what uh, we'll see what this race brings. If uh, if it can bring a point it brings uh, a point. If it uh, doesn't bring a point then oh well we try. It's as, uh, as simple as that. I also have a spot in my hair. And uh, that will feel uh, particularly painful uh, in about two to three days, or two to three hours. De depends on your uh, your thought process. Uh, yeah, let's get, we'll get some uh, recordings out of the way, and we've got uh, we've got Big Jet TV later on, which is uh, awesome. And. Yeah, because uh, they're taking uh, stock of their uh, new A330neo. It is uh, Virgin Atlantic. So we'll be able to uh, keep an eye out for that one. But, uh, oh, there we go. Perfect parking spot. Brilliant. So we're not going to uh, race any race time, waste any time even, as we go to the five red lights for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Lights are out and we're off and underway down to the first corner. It's uh, looking all the spray already building up and somewhere back there. Uh, is a couple of pink cars, there's one of them, <coughs> from the uh, fired Guan Yu Zhou. Look at all the sprays, Jackie's going to go four wide into the first corner now, three wide. And that's probably, I would say, up to about, round about, round about P14. 14 sounds like a, a good number, she's throwing a block of that Alpha Tauri. I would imagine that's, uh, that's Gasly. Yeah, that, uh, I saw the number 10 uh, lurking there uh, on Pierre Gasly's car. Jackie's all escorting Gasly to the outside of the corner. That's that's what you want to do there, girl. The good um, good work. Loving your stuff so far. Into turn five. The only reason this is going to be a boring race is because it's a uh, 95, 97.5% corners and uh, 95, 2.5% uh, straight. 
but it's that 2.5% straight that uh, we all have to uh, be very concerned about. And, and that's a legitimate concern. Concer uh, I, I can't even say that word today. I may have just woke up, but I can't say English today. Consensorship. That's uh, that's what. Is that the word I'm looking for? The general consensorship. I think it sounds right, like a right word. Hey, if it's uh, if it sounds right, it generally is right. Just go with it and see what happens. That's the uh, that's the rock star ball way. Hopefully you've all uh, reserved your uh, Twitter handle as well. I, I think that's stupid. Sorry, your YouTube handle. I think that's stupid. Why, why are we getting handles on YouTube? Are you trying to copy uh, Twitter much anyway? Ooh, a little bit uh, sideways there coming from uh, the back of Kevin Magson's when we come to start lap number four. Yeah, literally nothing's uh, happening so far. He's got Lando, uh, Lando Norris all over his rear end and that is going to be for P11 as uh, Norris tries up the inside of Turn 1, but that's not going to uh, work there for you, sir. You'll have another look down to uh, Turn 2 if he gets there, but uh, Kevin Magson will uh, hold position, and that will uh, continue. Oh, he's got a little detail on the uh, on the next lap. That might give Lando a bit of momentum down into uh, Turn 2, as we look from uh, Magson's teammate, Mitch Schumacher. He's gone deep again. Oh, he went deep again. That... Uh, we'll move Lando up to P11 and hopefully Lando will uh, disappear off into the distance. Meanwhile, we look at uh, Oscar Piastri and uh, unfortunately on uh, lap number 8, this is because uh, once again, nothing's happening. Uh, he's not only retiring, but he's holding off uh, Guan Yu which uh, I really don't uh, appreciate there, Oscar. Especially considering we might be looking at uh, you for next season. Maybe looking at you. Um, on to lap number nine, and Hollywood lad Stroll is, uh, oh, 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 aggressive! And aggressive uh, went around. <laughs> See you later, Stroll. Oh, no talent, uh, Hollywood lad Strolls. We go to Fernando Alonso. Uh, now, this is on lap number nine, and what's uh, Alonso going to do? And uh, Alonso... He's just, uh, see that, whoa, Alonso goes around. That shows you, uh, I think that shows you all how, uh, how tricky and treacherous these, uh, conditions are here at, uh, the Hungara Ring in Budapest. As, uh, we go on board one of the Alpha Tauris here, that is Pierre Gasly. Uh, he's got, uh, Yuki Tsunoda in front of him. Oh, hello, we had Yuki Tsunoda in front of him. That was a dive bomb. Yeah, nothing's been happening, uh, in this race at all, we're now on lap 15, and uh, now it seems to be, uh, it now seems to be kicking off as we go to lap 16, and Jackie is defending, because the track has uh, started to dry up, and uh, everyone who's played F1 games ever knows that when uh, the track starts to dry up, the AI gets uh, a little bit uh, OP at times, but uh, unfortunately they deal with uh, probably the widest F1 car you have ever seen in your life. As we've now got uh, the two Alpha Tauris uh, side by side, Gasly uh, being under attack from Sonoda through turn three, they go, and I think Sonoda has just taken the re position back from uh, Pierre Gasly. Indeed, he has taken the position back from uh, Pierre Gasly because this is later on uh, in the lap, and uh, Sonoda going down the inside, and that's not. Well, I, I saw, I see wing there flying off. Who's wing? Whose wing is that? Well, I think it's Jackie's. I think it's Jackie's, because I think, look at her uh, left side end plate. Oh, no, actually, I think it was Sonoda. So, uh, all good, uh, all good there. It was definitely a Sonoda wing. As uh, we come on to lap number 17. I want to say, uh, oh, there's Robert Schwartzman uh, making a move there. Uh, he's Robert Schwartzman making a move on, uh, I think that's uh, Alex Albon. Uh, or is it Nicholas Latifi? It'll be one of the two. But look at uh, Gasly trying to go side by side with uh, Jack. Oh my God, he, he went really side by side with uh, Pierre Gasly. I think that might be uh, Gasly's race uh, done and dusted. As Jackie, oh no, I see I see Jackie's lost the rear wing. From front end plates, front right. Yes, that there looking, you see it's uh, gone. She has literally no downforce as we go on to the last lap of the Grand Prix. 
And oh my god, she is defending. Oh my god, they are swarming. They are swarming. That that was not part of the plan. Not part of the plan. Uh, she's defending against Schwartzman nicely. She's now defending against uh, Gasly. She she is really oh she's struggling. She is really struggling here. Oh my god! And now Gasly's uh, getting now, now Gasly's lost uh, front wing there. That's just criminally insane. Absolutely insane. He's trying up uh, the inside here. And well, uh, what did you expect there? What did you expect to happen there, Gasly? That that was just silly. <sighs> and now he's trailing around without uh, a front wing as uh, Carlos Sainz comes through to win the Hungarian Grand Prix. At a canter, really. He got uh, into the lead and uh, he never looked back. There's a Ricardo in uh, P2. I think that's Ricardo anyway. Uh, why has Jackie got a three second penalty? You can see, um... Yeah, why has Jackie got a three second penalty? What was that for? You saw Gasly's uh, move there that uh, he tried to do and uh, she wasn't having that. I, I wouldn't have had that uh, either, girl. Oh, God, very wide. Oh, so wide it's uh, almost inconceivable. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be, what is it gonna be, P14? No, it won't be P14 because we've got a three-second bloody penalty for no... Re uh, why did we get a penalty? What what did we get uh, a penalty for very deep in the last corner? That, that's just the uh, the conditions. That's ridiculous. All right, then. Wh where do we finish, then? Okay, pick up rubber. P20. Wow. P20. I want to know what she got that penalty for, because that uh, that feels like a bit of a dodgy penalty if uh, you ask me. Max Verstappen, the uh, driver of the day, well, let's get out of here. Ferrari have really pulled it out of the bag today. It's a great win. So, Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out of the track was. Speed. It sounds like an awfully reductive statement, but fast cars win races. And we saw that today with our winner. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Carlos Sainz extends his lead at the top, getting ever closer to securing the championship. So let's review the updated driver standings. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Natalie Pinkham. Come on, who do you pick? Often, my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an especially impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Max Verstappen's solid, clean driving throughout the event. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Ferrari continue to extend the gap at the top of the table. Meanwhile, Alpine move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action, and I can't wait to see what's next. Uh, well, you you find out what uh, what's next, uh, Crofty. We're not we're not going to wait around. We're out of here. Uh, there's your top ten. Alex Albon finishes uh, P9. Jackie Guan Yu P18. Jackie P20. Only Sonoda and Piastri finished under a... I don't know what went wrong, but uh, yeah. We're out of here. We're going home. <sighs> well, that couldn't have gone any worse if it tried. Any worse if it tried. 
Yeah, that 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 just sucked. That that literally right sucked the life out of me, and uh, then bent me over and fucked all all of us. Because you know that's what the game liked to do. Uh, oh well. Things are looking good right now. Oh, well, our profit margin's looking good. Yeah, all right. Shut the fuck up. You, you, we you couldn't even get a fuck. I, I don't care. I don't particularly yeah, care. I'm well. gonna Thank throttle you if you ask me that question again. Yes, I'd like to renew a sponsorship, please. Thank you. Right. We go into the season break. Not, none of you deserve anything. You absolutely none of you deserve anything there. But you're having a funded team event at home. I expect you all to turn up 7 a.m. sharp. We're going to discuss that awful performance. And I mean truly awful. Huh. Hungary is a terrible track. Uh, who wants to agree with me on that? It, it's utterly disgusting, that track. <clears throat> anyway, we'll get on to the... Um, You're not currently in a rivalry. We'll get on to Sooner the uh, later, season break. Uh, the and then, hey! Oh look, Thinking we're going to get the upgrades select. that we should have got uh, already, shouldn't we? Yay! To do so. I, I, I don't want to give anything to Guan Yu because Guan Yu's doing the, the combined total of fuck you. That, that's what he's doing. Uh, but I suppose i got to keep him happy, haven't I? Yeah, got to keep happy Guan Yu, etc. Alright then, guys. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already done so. We'll be back tomorrow with F1 Manager 22, I believe. It's the... I don't know what Grand Prix it is tomorrow. <laughs> I really, really don't. But in the meantime, stay safe, be kind to each other. The uh, Scrapman's coming around for me. Time to go.